Hello, everybody. These cards want to say something. I'm not sure what yet, but we'll see. Um, I do channel multiple energy groups on here, so this may or may not be for you. Only take it if it resonates. If this one doesn't resonate, I'm sure there's probably other readings on my channel that you can check out that will resonate with you. But let's see what the story is. What do the cards want to say? And I appreciate your comments, uh, you know, liking the video, sharing, subscribing, if this resonates with you. Uh, thank you guys for helping me get back in the algorithm. Message of concern, high honor. Just bear with me here while I get in tune with the energy and see what's coming out. High honor, occupation, concern. This is for someone that's in the military. What is going on? Okay, there's someone... I don't know. It might be an older man, too. This could be like a grandfather of somebody, someone that was in a, in the military. Is That's what I'm feeling. So we have message of concern. It's like family members or friends are messaged about this person. Or Sorry, family members or friends are worried about this person. Because we have high honor and I'm seeing this military here and I don't usually read it like that, but I'm looking at it as, you know, occupation, like somebody was in the military. Um, this could be, it could apply to multiple people, so it might not just be someone that's older, but I am getting someone, like the main person I'm channeling, this is someone that's older. Expectation, tell me more about this. Sudden wealth, pathway. Bad health. Child. Journey. What is this energy? I gotta pause this and look at this for a second. Bear with me, guys. Okay, this is a very specific message. So this is probably only for like maybe three or four of you at the very most. This is a very small energy group. But honestly, what I'm getting here, it's a really sweet energy. But you had a grandfather or you had somebody, um, I guess for some it could have been like a husband or a wife or someone. But I'm, I'm getting for most of you, it was a the main energy I'm here I'm getting is like an older man. I'm getting like a grandfather kind of energy. And I feel like this person was in the military and I feel like this person had bad health. I feel like this is someone that already passed away. But I just feel like, I feel a very sweet energy. It's almost making me emotional. Like I'm feeling like this, this grandfather was very um, gentle, very, very gentle, very loving. I feel like he was, I don't want to say he wasn't traditional, but it's, it's almost like he wasn't, um, he's an old soul is kind of what I'm feeling. Like he was very open-minded. He was, he was, like he was open politically or he was open like as far as religion goes. It's it's almost like he was he might have been the black sheep of his of his family, or it's it's almost like I'm just getting like there was a difference between him and the rest of your family kind of energy. Or there's a difference between him and like most older people or most most grandpas that age. You know what I mean? Like he's not one of those people that stayed in that old, like, you know, forties, fifties mentality, like, you know, there's a lot of sexism, racism, all that back then. I'm getting he's not someone that was in that mentality. You know what I mean? He was someone that was really open. He was someone that was really um, almost had like a like a playful, loving side to him. You know what I mean? Like I almost feel like he he kind of maybe even saw himself as like a father to you in a way. Maybe you didn't have a father or you didn't um, – your father wasn't around or this could be like a – and this could be female too. This could be like a grandmother figure as well, but I'm getting from most that it's an older male. But I feel like a very, uh, I just feel like a very playful, loving energy to him. I feel like he passed away due to some kind of bad health, you know, probably, probably just, you know, died, you know, as older people do. It's, it's like probably just old age. Uh, just, you know, physical health conditions. But I almost feel like his spirit guides were letting him know that it's like there was a pathway and he felt like he hit the jackpot with this pathway because I feel like his spirit guides let him know 
that he could come back and be close to you again. It's almost like there was like a window of opportunity that was open. And so I'm almost feeling like he might not have, you know, consciously, he probably didn't feel great about, you know, passing away, I'm sure. But on a spiritual level, it's almost like he was like excited, like his spirit guides kind of told him or showed him that he was going to be able to come back again. It was almost like there was like a doorway of opportunity that he was able to to come back in. Um, for some, I feel like this grandfather died when you got pregnant. And I feel like this, again, only take it if it resonates. Like I said, this is for like a select few people. And if this is your story, you'll probably know. You'll probably like, you'll probably feel that energy. This is for someone very specific. But I feel like he... Um, I feel like he came back like through a child. Like I feel like I feel like maybe you were pregnant when he passed or if you're like a man maybe like your wife or your your girlfriend was pregnant. Um and I feel like he's coming back through that child. For others maybe you guys are getting pregnant now or you're you've just gotten pregnant. Um you know, or you're or you're currently pregnant and this grandfather figure is telling you he's coming back through that baby. Uh for others I feel like maybe there was just Maybe it was like another child in the family. It's almost like a like an open I know it sounds weird, but it's like an open vessel. Like there was I, I I get around the time of his death, there was like an opportunity to to come back around. Basically. There was like there was some kind of opportunity to to come back through, to come back to earth and uh be close to you, basically, is what I'm feeling. I feel like this I feel like he was in the military. I do feel like he was in the military. That is what's coming through to me. Because it's like journey, like his soul journey. Like he was really spiritually, like on a on a psychic intuitive level, he was really excited about this because it was like his spirit guides let him know there's this chance to come back. And it, I think it's like a, a, a doorway to you, like to be close to you, like this this child that he's incarnating through, like it could be like your sister or your brother or someone else is having a baby or someone else in the family or like a close friend or something like that. It's like one of those situations where there's some kind of, I'm just hearing like an open vessel, like there was some kind of opportunity for for him to come back through and be close in, uh, close to you. He wanted to come back as a guide. I feel like he could have even been your father in your past lives. He could have even, he could be like your soul father and maybe he was your, uh, you know, your biologically, your your grandfather in this life. I feel a sweet kind of playful energy from him, though. Very lighthearted energy. But yeah, he has some chance to come back around is what he's saying. And so he's doing that. Be careful with with stuff like this. You want to really be careful because if you seek it out too much, if you're open yourself too much to it, if you're like desperate for it, you can call in negative spirits. That's why, you know, like Ouija boards, for example, and Ouija boards are not evil. If you know what you're doing, I think it can be safe, but it can easily backfire. Like I have a Ouija board, but I like, I never use it. I will only use it like on rare, rare circumstances. I usually don't need it, but like very rarely. And I'm very careful. Like you have to like, you know, open it properly, close it properly. Maybe that's a message someone needs if they're, you know, dabbling with that. It's like, you got to really use precautions. You got to be in a good headspace call on certain spirit guides. But anyway, I'm getting this energy of like, you know, like you have to be careful, like you don't want to um, be desperate and seek it out and call in the the wrong spirits. You know what I mean? Like, don't, don't go jump on the Ouija board, like desperate to talk to your grandpa. And then you're, you're so desperate and so emotional that it's like, you're, you're attracting other types of spirits. You know what I mean? You have to kind of, you know, it's okay to get excited a little bit, but kind of be neutral and be balanced and don't, don't um just be just be cautious when working with uh, other spirits and whatnot. But any any final words on this? Marriage lovers, mature woman. For some, he wants uh you to let your grandmother or your mother know that it's okay for her to move on. It's okay if she wants to love somebody else again. She's not too old for it. If she wants to, you know, if she wants to put herself out there again. Because for some, that's just for one person here, I think. But for someone, it's like your grandma has this sense of like, 
Um, like, I think your grandma is a really good person, a very loving, very caring person. But I feel, I feel like this for whoever this is for, it's like your grandma has this sense of like, you know, I'm too old or, you know, that was, I was with him for 40, 50 years. I can't start over. And, and he wants you to let her know that it's, it's okay for her to meet somebody else. Why thief? Poverty. Mature man, thief, poverty, mature man. Yeah, don't, don't, it's like you're being robbed. It's like she's being robbed of something. Don't let, um, she still has time left. It's, it's, to, don't be robbed of, of your chance to be with, with a mature man. Don't, I feel like she has like a sense of loyalty to him, but it's almost like she, he, he might not have been her, um, I think he was a soulmate, but there might be other people that are, are just as, as compatible with her as he was. Any final messages? Yeah, for some, for some, your grandma might need some financial support, to be honest. And it, it's, he might be, he might be, your grandpa might be trying to bring someone in to get her some, some financial support, honestly. <laughs> Um, I shouldn't laugh. It's, it's, it's sweet. It's like he wants to take care of her, but for some, she might be a little bit worried about money. It's like, yeah. Cause it's like, she might be kind of stressed out if you have the means. And if this is your story and you have the financial means to help your grandmother, I would do so honestly, because I think that she's um, I get like a very loving energy from your grandmother. I almost feel like your grandma is kind of similar to your grandpa as well, where your grandma is very, um, I don't want to say she's not religious, but I'm not getting like, like, you know how some, uh, like older people can be where they're very closed minded and very religious and they're not really open. They're not, they're just very, they're stuck in that mentality in that very old way of thinking. I'm not really for this specific grandmother, at least I'm not getting that energy. I'm getting more of that, like kind of sweet, free spirited old lady that, you know, hangs wind chimes outside and, and listens to the, to the birds and likes to go on nature walks and, um, very, very like old soul, free spirited kind of vibe here. Could even be like a younger grandmother, like fifties or sixties or something, but But yeah, I'm getting a, a good energy from her. But yeah, I think that she's so loving and she's so, I, I get like a very positive, like positive vibes from her. Like she's very, uh, you know, she, she really tries her hardest to, uh, like she wants to take care of everyone. She wants, if she had a lot of money, she would be spoiling all her grandkids. You know what I mean? Like she would be buying you all houses. Um, but I think she is going through, I think someone's grandma is going through some kind of financial difficulty and she's not wanting to, she's trying to be strong, but she's really stressed out and she does need some help. She does, this could be mental issues or physical issues, um, also as well, but I get that she does need, she really does need some help and support. Um, She's not wanting to ask for help. It's not even because I get like a very free spirited, good energy from her. So it's not like a pride. It's more like she she I think she babies her grandkids. You know what I mean? Like she sees you all as like she wants to take care of you and just love you like she's the grandma. You're the grandkids. So she's supposed to be the one that pays for everything. But I'm getting that she is um, she is dealing with some kind of uh, despair, some kind of uh, financial issues. And she's trying to, she's pretending like she has more money than she does. She's trying to be okay. She's trying to be strong. Um, but she, she needs some help. I think, I think she really needs some help. I think she, she's not going to want to admit it either. She's going to be like, Oh no, I'm okay. I get by. Like you're going to tell, you're going to be able to tell when you have a conversation with her that she's not really doing financially great. Cause she's going to be like, you know, I'm okay. I get by, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I get my monthly check and I'm, I'm doing all right. Like the, you know, the lights are kept on, but it, but she, yeah, she, she needs, she needs some help. She needs some help. Maybe this is someone you can bring to her even maybe this, maybe, um, maybe this is someone that you know that can help her as well, possibly for some, but anyway, I'm going to put this out there, please. Uh, you know, it, 
if these readings are resonating with you, I really appreciate you guys commenting, even just leaving a heart comment. Uh, it really means a lot to me. It really helps me get back in the algorithm. So I really appreciate the support. Please subscribe if it resonates. Uh, maybe share the video if you feel like this might be for maybe like a friend or family member, someone that you know. I'm hearing like a Jeffrey or Jessica or something for someone. I usually don't get names, but once in a while I do. Or like, is it like a, like a, it's all, is it like a Jeffrey, like spelled with a G? That's like a strange name. You don't hear that often. Huh. Anyway, I'm going to put this out. Thank you guys for, and that's, you know, you don't have to have that name to be resonate with this. That was just for one of the people that are here, I think. So thank you guys for watching this.